Okay, and so here we are, the next episode. So let's all talk just a little bit there. Um, okay, so right now our our provinces, our nations is, is a bit of in shamble. We are not getting a lot of money. If I take a look over here, over states, you can see Wales over here. Uh, I am making money uh, with Valhalla. I'm also losing a bit there, but it's obviously I'm, win I'm getting way more. But you can see that the other province that I have is state here. I'm actually losing money with this province. Uh, so yeah, and that is... <clears throat> And these over here, I'm literally not getting anything at all. So like, I'm getting no money, no uh, no expenses. It's like it. It's like it's not mine at all. Uh, same over here. Hold true over here. The only thing that I have a little bit is um, yeah, some some of the uh, the the trade power over here over the English Channel. So yeah, I'm gonna try over here to catch more of the. Uh, uh natural uh harbor arbor over here uh so but yeah um so uh, as we before on the two other episodes we were trying we're not looking so much about the money uh we were just trying to uh build our forces and getting ready to battle with england now it's kind of the opposite side now we are looking for the money and we are not gonna make uh, prepare for any battle at all uh typically when you go to war you want to go immediately to war but since we just started as a one province minor we just had one provinces we we don't have much to sustain another war. Uh, we have a lot of uh, inflation on our, on our hands and uh, we are losing money right now. Uh, okay, so we will ha we'll have to fix some stuff. Um, that's for sure. That's for sure. And um, yeah, so that's really one thing that, you know, when you're new at this game, it's something that's a bit difficult to craft is how do you make so like you can gain money from your provinces that you just gain. Uh, right now you can see that, uh, well, first of all, step one is obviously to core. So we want to proceed this and that's, you know, that's a no brainer. It's not too hard to do that. But uh afterwards what we are aiming for is to lower well not not lower but to accept the cultures of um of the english we'll try to change the uh uh the the religion over here so you can see that i have some you know uh, i'm losing a bit of a uh, taxes over here quite a lot of taxes because the culture is not accepted and same thing over here with uh, uh with the religion i'm losing taxes because of that and at the, at the beginning of the game taxes is kind of everything so you want to uh to clear that up but you also want to lower the autonomy right there so minus 90 percent because i have 90 percent of, uh, of autonomy is uh, that's literally the big reason why i will not be able to do much uh over here I, that's a that's a state one that's a and you can see the autonomy is at 30 percent and uh i can actually lower it right off the bat like that and you know that could give me a bit of money well maybe at the end of the month we'll see but yeah it's not gonna giving me much um so yeah um i don't think i'm gonna be okay so a burgundy over here is a junior partner of Aragon. Aragon that is right there he is also allied to Austria. And for some reason, the Linton Empire over here, just to make things a bit complicated for our friend Ottoman over here, that is struggling a bit there. Um, and uh, yeah, so uh, the Austrian over here is probably not going to be my my good friend. That's a bit of a that is a bit sad because typically in this run, uh, Austria is a very good friend. It typically does not, you know, and is not in your way in your conquest um, most of the time. Uh, and he is also a good ally to take down France because I would like to. Uh, take France territory over here uh, to get more of the English Channel. Uh, but maybe in Castile will be a good guy over here. Could help me over here to beat up uh, Portugal, uh, Aragon, and even France. And I will see if uh, I think the Eberin uh, wedding did happen. I'm not so sure. I, I, if I recall, like he it happens and like he refused it. It's kind of a rare, rare event there. It's typically the. Um, they do accept and they are uh, they form a union between uh the aragonese and the Cassie, but maybe i missed one i missed this one and the reason why um 
uh, England was not allied with Sweden anymore is because yeah he lost <laughs> so now he's back into a PU under uh, into under Ben Denmark so I will try to uh, he right now is he, uh, a rebellious percentage over here is very low but it's gonna go up is just because he just lost the battle he just lost the war so I eventually will get back to up and he will be rebellious again so I would like to be a friend with him and support his alien uh, support his independence just so like make it, just so like he lose again he loses again and I get the uh you know uh, with this over here i will i could uh, this one transfer subject i will be able to um vassalize like to pick up uh from denmark uh sweden and even norway and to make them my vassals and that will be huge because i will again an insanely m amount of uh, territory exactly in the scandinavia region like that's gonna be like all of my quests just in one one piece deal over here so that's gonna be huge okay so let's go let's uh, fix our nation okay so first of all uh over here these uh, guys are quite expensive i'm gonna take out the forlorn but i'm gonna keep the uh free company because the free company is not expensive it's not this big uh, this big of a uh, of expense over here so we can see the uh only 0 0.37 decades per per, uh, per month for the uh free company so it's really really cheap uh reinforcement over here a bit of money i'm gonna wait over here to have these back to max and then i will lower that you can see that some english is uh is uh, taking up already uh, we also have some welsh so 7k 12k the thing here is that um the english is always gonna spawn over here in London so um, you can see that uh, because I am a uh, Norse uh, all of that has weird names um, well, well yeah I will not risk uh, trying to pronounce that I'm just gonna transfer back the London name London to London just so like it's an important city and uh, kind of want that to be you know recognizable um so right now so I can't change the, uh, these into Norse and that is because you know there's a lot of a yeah it's not a core not a symptom cultures so we'll be addressing that before trying to convert anything uh over here we are in the positive so yeah i could take these now so national unrest yes and uh, no <laughs> please and um yes okay and um, this too could be nice construction cost but I, before that uh, i could have also i enabled that before uh, building the temples over here but it's gonna be fine i kind of want that to be building you know temples and stuff all over the place so uh, once i will be ready i will try to uh, benefit as much as possible of this uh, i'm not gonna turn off the fort right now i kind of want that to lower just a little bit so it's about maybe a bit more than one percent uh so what has happened i click fast okay he's now my rival i would like to rival uh, scotland um who are your friends sligo uh this guy thar uh Turconel and uh province yeah province and that's kind of funny there okay it's good friend province nice so it's kind of good because right now friends it will not intervene in any shape or form because he got to war with uh, with friends um okay uh, over here we still have that we still have that uh i'm not gonna do that just yet <clears throat> i would like to transfer my uh my capital over here to london and uh, london is kind of a better better place over here to have the capital you have like the natural arbor you have the thames estuary over here so and also even like a this thing over here it's not very good though let's be real over here it gives some really prestige and some arbitration it's it's meh okay yeah another thing is we want to keep up on um on improving the relation so i think i'm gonna send this to uh the trading policies over here and this over here with the uh yeah improved relation uh we uh 
yeah let's try to go further in the tech so we don't want to you know lag behind i will not go ahead of time no need for that because i don't plan on getting going to war at all uh, right now i could get more troops i would like to be um par with the force limit so if i can so like that 11 on 11 perfect and uh yeah because yeah we do have the uh, 12k that is coming up so yeah in clan i think uh, did go bankrupt <laughs> warning scotland okay that's kind of funny uh integration of foie um so yeah it is bankrupt it's not a good shape at all 6k zero in the manpower the thing is like scotland will not go to war with him because he still holds his friends austria and portugal which obviously will stop scotland from intenting any coup any any moves um uh, okay yeah yes yeah, so they're just let's not stop so uh this guy likes me uh i don't like him too much but uh yeah well he is a bit of style towards me i don't i don't want to uh make an alliance with with friends it's not too good of an alliance i believe like it's better just to you know make him make you make him like your rival and try to uh, get him early on you know because he do he do hold uh, good provinces that will benefit me quite a lot uh yeah so i don't want to go uh even like you even even if you're taunting me with the uh the nice uh, innovativeness there i will try not to get that uh I, in fact i will not just try i will not <laughs> um so we want to improve relations uh with with these guys over here so a lot of them is kind of mad with me i don't want to go too too deep but uh like obviously i will not go as far as these guys over here like i don't need to improve with every single minor of germanic nation of the german uh, but it would be nice if i could just um improve with some of them in the, uh next to the english channel so like you know they get a bit less mad when i take stuff from england uh, let's improve with this over here so because it was at the maximum limit uh in the meantime let's uh yeah let's go our stuff that's a um, prio number one sure remove that <clears throat> all right um so for the next about 10 years 15 years maybe we'll be we'll become uh, our next we'll go with the prestige our next other wars are gonna yeah obviously we're gonna be at war again with england but i would like to conquer some stuff on the irish side over here so to do that i will need to have some sailors some boats so this is a going up a bit so i'm gonna get some cog oh by the way a linter is not very friendly with me and uh, well he has like the 100 percent flat <laughs> because i am of the uh well, that's not cool um because i am a different nation a uh, religion sorry a different religion obviously and it, i probably want my provinces what do you, what do you want from me bro come on and also he thinks he's far richer than me so pure economic base compared to leinster come on bruh my economic is pure uh military alliance with denmark oh yeah did you peasant war nice oh yeah, also i got just a little too little pee, pee over here to get the sweet 50 sweet p50 allows you to get a bit more more points so i could i cannot do all that much for that i will not be able to insult him because i have a truce with him and uh, i already have an embargo with this guy uh the other thing that i could do is like privateers and stuff like that but i have no boats at the moment uh so i think i think another thing that uh another thing that i could do is i would like to uh maybe send this merchant over here only 12 person it's okay um 
from the English Channel. And I'm gonna go with the us style over here. And I'm gonna try to... Um, oh, I already have a spy network. Can I support the peasants? Almost. That will give me 39. 17. You can see here on the bottom right. So 39 will be pretty nice. I will get get this will push this is going to push me uh to uh, above 50 percent and i don't have quite the money yet um yeah i never i never uh, pay that down but it's okay uh what's the uh, devastation over here it's going close to zero nice uh so what i could do is i could just give me money right now i can just Debate a bit of a Valhalla over here, get some quick money, and now we'll be able to uh, support the peasants, pushing me to 78% over here. Nice. So this gives me a bit of moral army for defense, but especially like the uh, plus 50 over here with three mana over here. That's um, pretty good. Pretty good, if you ask me. Um, these guys are probably gonna be there for a very long time because uh, England will could lend some troops over here. I don't think he will because he is only he only having 8k over here of troops and also he is bankrupt. So I don't even think he can defeat them in a one on one situation. So you know, uh, as always, keep on improving this. Uh, we uh, I could. So since I am interested on this one, I think I could uh, keep on building this spy network over here with England. Um, nice. Good job, friends. You did it. Uh, okay. So with that, that's good. That's very good. The fact that... Um, it is spawned in London because right there you can see that uh, he is starting and uh, trying to siege on a fort. He will never be able to do that. And sortie, why not? Let's try to lose as less po troops as possible, and just like that, it's done. So we'll be good for at least I don't know one year. <laughs> Uh, let's uh, I could like over here provoke well, if you provoke you just make them spawning more uh, Earlier, yeah, you just make them spawn earlier when when times come so I don't really want that Oh, there's actually a lot of peasants over here. That's I didn't see this one this one stack over here Nice, okay uh, Okay, so some I got a core somewhere this one. Yep. This is already our core, nice. Uh, annexation, arrival with Brittany, nice. And uh, three year over here, okay. Uh, so this is, yeah, natural arbor. Can I get this? 30. Oh! See, don't even need. They, they just spawn like next month. Okay, and I was I didn't put my troops in there because I just didn't want to have because if you had troops in a, in a in a province, it can lower their probability of spawning because you have troops and having troops does um, yeah well for example over here I just so the unrest over here because I have uh, it should say somewhere like. Troops. The fact that you have troops it lowers the the. Uh, hmm. Recent uprising, corruption, positive stability. Anyway, so it should lower the unrest if you have troops in their nations. Okay, so uh, I saw like he got a world power something. Okay. Anyway. Uh, let's go with that. I think I'm gonna stop over here with English. So, yeah, that's the province I'm looking for. And over here, I don't really have a... But that's England. I have a bit there. But um, when I will take this mission over here, I will, gain, I will get uh, more claims with the neighboring provinces. So that's good. 
I would not get a claim than this one, so that's the reason why I picked this one up. I think I'm gonna try to uh, get this one on the next war, on the next war, and maybe Hulk as well. I would like to re release Nurta Berlin over here. Nice core. He has a bunch of provinces that I can claim, especially like oh, okay, he removed the fort over here. Okay, uh, next I would like to <clears throat> get claims on Irish. I will not go to war immediately, but I would like that to be done. Okay, core with London is done. Keep on improving this, I guess. So this is helping me a bit there with the uh, manpower. I think it, if it could have been like push my uh, force limit, it did not, but it could. Um. Okay. Uh oh. That's kind of strange. A great example of private enterprise enterprises. Do we... Okay, whatever. <clears throat> sure, friends. Let's do business. <laughs> He's still hostile towards me. Come on, bro. <laughs> At 76% uh, uh, plus on the positive over here with the relation. He still hates me. That is what happens when you are a uh, different religion, different cultures. These uh, guys don't really like you anymore at all. Norfolk is typically where he goes when uh, when you lose London. When you when you take like some capitals from some nations, like like if you take London from England, you cannot just take his heart. He is. Uh, yeah, he is not gonna able to uh, recover ever from that. A uh, bunch of uh, enemies. What are bit, bit, anyway the enemies? So you have Brittany, Scotland, Denmark. Uh, yeah, so Brittany could be like an alliance enemy of enemy, I guess. <laughs> He's also a lie to France. Funny. Uh, well, no, not really. Not really a, a worthy nation over here to ally. Uh, inflation less than 5%. Yes, that could be a good idea. Trade efficiency, yearly prestige, monthly autonomy, change. Yeah, I think I'll go with this one. Uh, right now, the... Uh, yeah, it's very atrocious. Very bad. Horrendous. I want to have inflation over here. So I will have to debase here, reduce inflation, but that would cost me some admin. 75. Uh, let me don't chase them. Uh, let's let's have one to make claims and ha have another one to improve with the Germans. You kind of just have to do it once and it should, you know, help you out for um, for a good time at least. Making sure like they don't go hostile, they just, you know, uh, have a neutral attitude against you. So like the uh, A is a bit less bad. <clears throat> and uh, I should have the course. Let's go for speed five over here. Because I don't have this, this much to do. Okay. Get this. Uh, next, this guy. As long as I don't have the core, it's not worth of much. Yeah, we're just waiting that to reach the hundred percent. No rebels or anything is coming up. And uh, sure, with neighbors, okay. Now the Welsh over here, I don't plan on accepting their cultures. They are just too small. Like if you take a look over here on the culture map, uh, you have only three provinces with the Welsh cultures. We have only one with the Cornish over here and a bunch over here with the Scotland. Uh, I plan on accepting the uh, Irish over here. That's quite a lot. And perhaps maybe the Scots. Scots has like five provinces. <clears throat> but like 
uh, we have over here the Highlander. I think I'm just gonna switch that to another uh, cultures accepted. Probably mine, mine cultures, and same with with Welsh. Right now, I cannot switch uh, because there's still like some. Well, first of all, it needs to be Norse, but also like there's also some say, some separatists. Uh, so yeah. Um, now if i take a look over here it would take 45 months to do that i don't think i'm gonna change the uh, uh, region just yet with this province because it, it's it's not my province my my core provinces the ones that i'm more interested with is london and these uh, two uh well london and this one too because it has a natural arbor over here so <clears throat> yeah so now that the cores are all done what is what i want to do is i want to state that so click on this click on that nice so now we can see i'm losing money nice uh so let's try to fix that up uh, first thing we want to do is to accept their cultures so 54 percent of english yep accept that <clears throat> so that's a nice and I could now see that, yeah, it will not take that long to uh, convert the nations over here. I will start with London over here. So I want London to be north as fast as possible so I can gain as much benefits of this uh, of this province as, as, you know, as soon as possible. Sooner, better than later. later. Uh, Bello Zero next. Um... Come um, now let's just wait for conquest of God uh, against Scotland or Scotland. Uh, this over here, we are poor with time. Let's get that and want that. You yeah, sure? Why not? <clears throat> I would like to get this idea over here. Oh my God! It's not. <laughs> Okay, so that's, yeah, that's what happened there. There's only, uh, uh, only one pigeon was there. And then suddenly more spawn and more and more. So that's why there are four sacks of peasants in this nation. Uh, yeah, that always gives you a little bit of money when you do take this option. I never took them, uh, I never took this guy out. That's, uh, should have been done. Yeah, fire this guy. I would like to... I have a guy with uh, like this one. I can support to have maybe. Oh, actually, I'm losing money. Um, right now, I can disable the fort over here, and this one too. Could have been done sooner. Uh, I can reduce that. Oh, that's because of the missionary. Yeah, that's the reason why I'm losing money. Uh, I would like to pay off the loans. Pay to pay to loans. Okay. I uh, could go to war with this guy. May maybe not. Top priority it is like the wrong cultures. Uh, yeah. This is going to give me a bit of inflation. Uh, how much money do I lose? One decade. So I guess I can pay another one. And um uh, blue water corruption to zero, so uh why do I why do I gain corruption by the way? Uh because of religion disunity. Yeah, forty two percent is not great. No oh, my PP <laughs> Okay, so the uh, the peasants won. Would have been better for me if they didn't win. Yeah, if the the peasants could have stayed down there for a longer time, but it's okay. I guess that's what I wanted, Nami. <laughs> I guess that's the reason why you do support the rebels is for the, the rebels to win, I guess. <laughs> to be fair, I never support the rebels for like the, the rebels to win. I never care. I, I have order plans. 
<clears throat> than having them to to uh, to win. Uh, let's uh, improve with Sweden. I feel like I'm a bit late on this one. Uh, let's bring this guy back over here. A champagne that is, and that's how that. It's not gonna make a huge difference. We are at twelve percent. It's gonna make. Wow, plus one percent. Not a big difference. Um. Wow. The reason too why England is, you know, struggling quite a lot, aside from the fact that he goes to war with France, he has the War of Roses. He also starts with a leader at zero zero zero. A zero 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 leader at first, and the, you know, the beginning, it's <laughs> very difficult. Uh, we. Uh... I almost feel like I want to go with... What is the equilibrium? If it, this, this equilibrium could be at, at um, 60 over here would be nice. Um, hmm, interesting. Uh, so, well, I guess I'm gonna go with this time. Let's not go too crazy about uh, with this one. 92% over here with the nobility. That's kind of good. I could remove this one. I don't think it's gonna be useful anymore. Yeah, let's remove that since I can. 80, you want that to be always at 60% out of that if you can. Always nice. Uh, especially since I have the cleric education over here. So that if it was at 60%, it will give me a reform progress of 25% instead of the 10. It's okay. Eventually, okay, that's very good. We uh, want that very soon, but that is just too good. We cannot go. We, we cannot just, yeah, let that there. We want that, uh, yeah, as soon as possible. The minus 10 on aggressive expansions will help us a lot. Uh, that is done, so let's uh, move up for the next one. I think uh, Tarconel, I think I can get climb with him. Yep. Oh. Start this one up, and let's not forget to get uh, the claim. So now we have a bunch of claims over here. We have this guy. I would like to diplomatically vassalize this uh, Leinster. I could maybe make him my friend. Yeah, maybe. We'll see how it goes. I'm still losing money. Eh, just a little bit. This is about to be done. Okay, more a little bit more money like this. Like we are minus, yeah. It doesn't do a huge difference over here. Uh about 10 cents, 12. Nice. The next one that I would like to convert will be well, this one is good, kind of good, but I would like to finish the state over here. Oh, I never. Whoopsie. Oh, yeah, I want to do uh, this too. Whoopsie. <laughs> oh, yeah, we want to convert that as fast as possible. And you can do so by enable this over here, this edict. So plus 1% on the mission restraint. So that's kind of good, good thing over here to get. Uh, seas land. Yes. Let's seas land. I could sell titles, but I would like to have a little more than 10% and, you know, falling back to zero. Uh, you kind of want that to be always above 10%, at least above 10%, if you can. Uh, sure. I would like to grab this too. And we have some stuff over here. Not, not really. How's going with the Ottomans? Still, there is not all the uh, Bulgaria disappear. Okay. Denzig. Quite a big Denzig over here. The Livonian Order over here could be a nice one to vassalize. Because it still has some good um, 
good provinces good uh cores over here this region i would like to have uh, eventually my hand over the baltic sea so if i could take all these nations over here it would be very nice for me so this northern bit over here of german would be very nice for me to get will help my provinces a lot there i'll get rich rich baby uh Tarconel, it's done bring him back home take this yeah sure uh let's highlight this guy and also could i could also i could also use these guys as a launching point over here to go to war with the other uh, uh irish over here in england apparently do we have forts sometimes they do build forts yeah there's a fort there so Kildare did build a fort there. I knew it. <laughs> Full annexation of Gotland. Okay. Nice. Uh, I mean, I don't want the autonomy to go up. It's not like it's gonna change a lot. But yeah, I would like... I also have to pay down the inflation. It's not a good price though. So 100 onion point over here is a bit of a steal if you ask me. Uh, sure. So he just asked me to give some of the renaissance into his uh, province. He will pay me, but like, he is, so, he is so poor that he's only giving me 12. My nation, so like, it's basically nothing. Okay. This is about to be done. Let's, um... I just like see the difference over here 15 16 16 let's push and put that so 13 13 we're saving just about one month one nation is like uh, two months and one nation is like three months uh, i want to convert this one first i can now uh, remove that with this over here the prosperity going up so that is because we removed the devastation uh it's gonna lower the autonomy a little bit even more so that's very good one the autonomy will go down very fast and i can't even uh, push down this button over here to push this autonomy even lower so that's gonna help me over here to get more money i could do so over here as well so let's do this and the last one over here, which apparently I can't. Alright, did click on this one. Okay, that's the reason why. And um I think I'm gonna Let's see. Protect the trade. Wow, seven yeah, so that's a jump of three percent. It's kind of worth it. Um next we also like to build um stuff build buildings i like to get money though to do this. so uh let's see yeah no let's not do that the inflation is too high first of all that you know makes a lot of stuff to be more expensive it's, and you can see yeah the top one over here construction cost and plus 11 percent we don't want that okay so i would not be able to support him but then first of all he's not rebelous at all but I don't know if he likes me. Loyal attitude, yeah, but... No, okay. It could. How about... Nah, no. So, remove the 1000. It's 40 for uh, 63. So, it's... I am basically 24 points short for supporting his independence. But eventually, it will be big and will be... Uh, uh, and they, they will consider me, you know? I'll be considered once. They will be they will be fearing me. They will be scared of me. You know what I'm saying? Let's build some cogs in London. Let's build three. And after that, we are going to build a bunch of galleys. I want that to be soon ready. So at 60, 76. Yeah, so it's about about 10 years has passed, man. And I did nothing. Nice province, give it to me. New monarch. Bunch of new monarchs over here as well, okay. 
Uh, man will be another one that I would like to get. And even Scotland, why not? No, oh, what am I? I don't have more. <laughs> oh no, okay. Uh, enough guard is gone. Can be fun over here to uh, to guarantee uh, Novgorod uh, because Moscovy, although now he, ha he haunts that, he could you know disbark some units into munitions. But uh, you know, I'm not too scared of Moscovy. He cannot get he cannot get to me very easily. So if I could just slow down him a little bit there by you know making him to go to war with me. Could be nice, could be nice. And also if I lose, because you know, I would not be able to defend Novgorod. And I'm also gonna get some revenges over here, so that could give me some sweet bonuses for a short amount of time. Uh, three no is a lot for ducats. Uh, I don't want to take a loan though. Can I... um? clicks this no magic button over here i would like to remove the corruption a little bit there i could debase yeah sure and let's remove some of that corruption not too much i think with the stab the positivity uh the positive stab over here it's lowering the the uh the corruption so let's Let's uh, have that work for me a little bit now. I think even I could just pay even less than that. Uh, which... Okay, both are pretty much the same. This one is a bit better because it has a nice iron on, on this nation, uh, on this province. Um... That could be nice. It will lower the uh, the influence if I do that. Oh no, we get no. Okay, I want that actually. The two base tax on London. Why not? I'll take that. And uh... how much loan do I have too? I like to pay them off. Yeah. What if I click on this? Hmm. I think I could, so. Uh, and I... Mm, yeah, sure. Okay, let's take the loans off. Now I could... Um, I would like to have this. Oh man, as soon as possible. But I could also get the Promote Merchant Guild's bookkeeping over here. Very good uh, privilege over here. So instead of paying 75 points, I will only pay 46 to lower that. So that's, you know, very good. But I will not spend my points, my admin point over here just yet. Because I will like, first of all, first and foremost, uh, have this one. So I should be able to get that uh, by the next year. In the meantime, I will cap with that. Mm. Will I? I don't know. I could improve over here. This province, even London. Sure. Just a little bit of points so like it doesn't cap. And man. What do we have here? Yeah. Typically, I go with this one over here. Prestige going up. It's good. Do I have the money? Yeah, I have the money. I have the points. It's fine. It's fine. Prestige is kind of worth it to have this going up as, as high as possible. Especially at the beginning. Because for the aggressive expansion in pack. Very important to have as, uh, as much uh, aggressive... Uh, no. Uh... You want to reduce the aggressive expansion impact as soon as possible. Um, as early as possible as well. Okay, 15 is the new limit. That's too bad that I click on this button too fast. Well, let's wait. We want to reduce the inflation soon. 
Let's go speed five. Nice. Perform progress. Uh, I would like to go with this one to start off for the for max promet cultures over here. Very nice. And the uh, all estate loyalty privilege over here would also help me to get the uh, over here the corridor, the equilibrium to be at above 60%. So I will do nothing and it's just gonna go um, naturally above 60%, which will give, give me more reform progress. Yeah. And also like other uh, bonuses coming up. Okay, so money or prestige. That's a lot. Uh, that's not a lot of money. Um, I think I'm going to go with the prestige actually. So little of money that's not so much worth it. 20 ducats. 22 ducats. It's, uh, it's a joke. So the autonomy. Oops, no. Yep, I would like to have a claim on this guy. Okay, let's... Uh, I would like to have maybe Bohemia or Poland as my ally as well. It's, these guys look uh, promising. Let's go with Bohemia first. So let's uh, let's start off already to improve relations with this guy. Already we can do that, so let's do this. Uh, we are capping. Oh, okay. We can go get this now. And the first idea group. Obviously, I want to have military uh, idea because I'm stuck with this over here. What? Well, I can change it now. Hmm. Um. No, let's not change it now. Because, yeah, I would like to have this uh, military idea. There's two uh, idea that could be worth it. The aristocratic idea, very good. Give me development cost over here, some uh, uh, monthly autonomy change over here. Even a diplomat can be good. But I'm more looking for maybe naval idea over here. Uh, very good idea, especially if you are in island, as important as the English island, uh, the Britain islands. That is because. Um, yeah, it's a very nice uh, idea group. So we have over here at the end the uh, naval barrage cost at minus 100%. So this means I can barrage every fort by the coast. This means like when I would go to war with, with Denmark, I will be able to uh, take him down very fast. Not only that, but also be able to... Uh, since my my navies are gonna be very strong, I will be able to get in there with impunities, destroying this every ship's that will be in my way so uh, it's kind of a no-brainer if, if you ask me to go with a naval idea first so it's gonna give me some combat penalty uh, reduction uh, when lending that's pretty nice so i can lend on on rebels uh and you yeah, i never i never checked this one up huh? that could have been bad the um the English rebels are coming up. They will be they will be spotting in, in London. It's always London, because London is the province with the most development. So that's how it works. You can. It's like it's really not random where and when the uh, the rebels spawn. Yeah, uh, you can see when they spawn over here. So every month there is twenty four percent chance that it goes. Up, uh, there's a progress of ten percent. So, every month. Okay. Uh, next. I could go with this one over here. That's one way that I go often. But I think I'm going to go with fear this time. I want to have this, uh, the satyrs. And the discipline over here will definitely help me a bit against the Irish. So, and even Scotland, I want, you know, we'll be able to destroy all of their, all their troops easily so yes let's get give me that please and uh yeah so i have a, a new leader very good leader technology cost idea cost man this guy is uh, actually very good i'm lucky to have this guy i would like to lose manpower over over discipline thank you um do we have some irish nations with Low amount of lies, not really. That's 
That's the beauty of the Irish nation. Oh, someone got two provinces. <clears throat> yeah, they are all... They always have a lot of allies. And this guy is also allied to France for some reasons. Which could be... Hmm. Something. A leverage over here. If I want to go to war with France. Ah, uh, man. Not really, actually. He... He's weak. Uh, not worth. He does not have a lot. Of, well, he's weak. Not so much. But, like, I mean, he does not have a lot of allies. Okay. Here they are. Spawn. Kill. Just like that. Put that back down. We don't pay for the fort. We have ships. And uh, nice. Okay, so as I said, I want to pay down the inflation. We want that to be below 5%. That would be very nice. In the meantime... Okay, nice. I could get this edict over here. But I would not, you know, accept the Welsh cultures, as I said. Very nice. Um... I would like to move my capital over here, over London. I will not be able to do it just yet. Uh, let's get more claims over Scotland. So I think I pretty have all the claims that I can get. I could also get a claim over my ally, why not? He'll be fine with that, he'll be fine. <laughs> Don't worry, bro. If I could get uh, or a vassalization over him, that would be nice. If not, it's okay. Okay. Yeah. Britis is back. No. No, not Britis. Very bad leader, but yeah. You cannot always win. I will not disinherate him. I want, I want the prestige that I work a lot for. Uh, whatever. I can re-enable the fort, taking down the devastation that just got there. So devastation, you know, lowers the uh, the prosperity. We don't want that. And over here, there will be no prosperity because I will have to wait for the devastation over here to go down. It's okay. Or having a fort. I can also build a fort. Uh, that, yes. Thank you. Um, now I have more discipline. Uh, can I go to war? Is it time? Mm. It's, yeah, I'm soon ready to go to war. Uh, let's lower that. Let's lower that even more. Now I have a new agenda. Let's get that agenda. Temple in London. It's in actually a good idea to do so. Nope. We'll not be friend. Yep. Let's uh let's have this over here. Um, if I could just keep on lowering that. Below two percent. Is that even gonna be even better? Okay, just like that. Uh, yeah, sure. Get a claim over my ally. Why not? Um, let's bring that back up. Even that too could be nice. Um. Is it time now to go and get this sweet discount over here? I think so. And I could even get this one too. Uh, with a, nat a national tax. Okay. Advisors. Yeah, I'll take this guy. 50% discount. Um, 
so now I'm making a lot of money well not a lot but I could get another one over here uh, is there a young man this one he's Catholic come on bro okay whatever this can get me getting some nasty events because he's the wrong faith but it's okay I'm I'm sure it won't happen nothing bad will happen so now it's only 79 decades over here to build temples I would like to get my temples uh, ready soon right now uh, I am not making a lot of money from these provinces you can see it's uh, not great we still have a lot of autonomy that's the reason why uh, if we could get that you know at zero it's gonna make a huge difference uh, I have a diplomat Three. Do I? Uh, let's make sure that we are always. Uh, oh, we could support the independence of Burgundy. I don't want that. Obviously, I don't want that. I would like uh, him to stay. Uh, yeah, I would like uh, Aragon to keep Burgundy, and I would like to go to war eventually with Aragon over here, um, um, and then get burgundy myself as a pu like that i will be able to get a lot of nice provinces on the english channel and even like over here in champagne so all in all um i'm very interested on getting my hands on burgundy land so i will not support the independence of burgundy if I, if i if any, if anything i would like actually to support <laughs> uh, aragon over here if anything, that's actually what I would like to do. Let's see Sweden over here. Is he still loyal? He's still loyal. Nice. Keep him loyal. Um, yeah, other than that, I would like to get... I have a lot of uh, corruption. It would be nice if I could pay maybe a little bit of that. Corruption is not too good, because especially for the power cost, 5% over here. The minimum autonomy is actually going up. So uh, if I could just, can I pay it off? Yeah, let's try to pay that off once and for all. Um, can I do, yeah, I cannot do that. I could sell. Hmm. Do I want to do that though? I would like that to be above 10%. I guess, I guess so. How much does it give me? Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. And I will be able to be building temples in some nations. So keep in mind that with the temples, it's also giving me some uh, money. Um, yeah, not money, but it will make it cost a bit cheaper over here to uh, improve nations. So I'm interested to build maybe a temple over here as well. I like to have this a market over here, a market over London as well. And uh, I could also build a barrack. Not like it's very useful at the moment, but I could. Eventually, I will do that. Okay, the market. <laughs> it's almost three. It's already done, almost. It was not long. Uh, sure. Uh, I have a free diplomats. Mm. Would be nice if I can secure an alliance with with Castilla. I will very much like to have that. Well, I guess I could get another guy over here from the North Sea. And uh, sure, having that enable and take the moment over here to improve a bit more with the uh, German ignition. Anyone close, it's fine. Um.
We are making more ducats over here. We're getting more control, steadily more control over the English Channel. Um, no, I, yeah, I think it's fine. France. I finish an agenda. Okay, I cannot get another one. Yes, does like me. Get ready. Nice, let's go. Gary does not like me. And I would like to have a market over here. So let's just see for the fun. Yeah, my God, that's a lot. And um, can I, what, what are other buildings that I can get? Okay, ducks. Yeah. Yeah, duck is uh, it's whatever. I could get more troops. I would like though to get my hands on, on a lot of uh, a lot of galleys. I would like to have uh, as much galleys as I can. Well, I think my next war is gonna actually gonna be against uh, the England over here. I did not did not was not I don't know fast enough. Didn't get the money to get to be comfortable to go to war with the. Uh, Irish, so it's fine. Let's not waste our uh, A then for them. I'm actually gonna uh, getting ready over here to go to war again with the England. With England, that is, uh, which is struggling a big time again, is still like, uh, you know, struggling a lot with his nation. What is this now over here? Trade efficiency for uh, spine detection, institution spread, or mercantilism. Yeah, we'll get that. I don't care about the control that I have over Champagne. I like six percent over here. It's kind of surprising that I have this much, but uh, it's not the reason why I have a diplomat there. Oh, that's good. Uh, yeah, that's and that's that's what you get over here to get a a bad advisor. I think I'm gonna go with this here. So. Mm, give me another one. Spy network. Nice. Um, but it is tier two, man. Uh, and this guy is a bit old. I guess I'll still go with this guy. Um, nice. So reform progress is going up a lot. Yeah, I want to improve a lot, but uh, with manpower. Thank you. It's like I'm um cap. Uh, I'm at the top there with the manpower. So um, I think I'm gonna get this here. Can I can I move my capital? Oh, I can soon. And I will. Um, so just like that. Boom. This is my new capital. I should not getting money. I, in fact, I think I'm going to lose the money from doing this move. Oh, was it? I need about the whole time. Okay. Mm, so right now the autonomy is at zero percent over here the autonomy is at 40 percent and then next a month pass boom autonomy zero percent over here and then suddenly 59 <laughs> percent okay sure um no okay it didn't change a lot it's fine i'm gonna en enable this um and i'm I waited to do this. Now I will improve London instead of uh, Valhalla. And not even giving me some nice uh, local uh, development in construction. So yeah, sure. Why not? I'm more interested on the claims. Now I have a bunch of claims against England. Not per uh, not permanent. So that's the reason why I kind of wait for that. And uh, yeah, nice. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of uh, stuff down there. So now I would like to... 
get barrack, get dock and all that stuff. Uh, sh oh. Okay, four, four years at a time. I kind of click on this one by mistake, but it's fine. Uh, let's improve with the monster. And uh, let's build more galleys. Actually, how did you... Uh... Yeah, that's not the best way to do that, actually. Let's have one build in London and one build here. And uh, I think I will end the episode here. So um, yeah, we'll be uh, we'll be at war against England on the next one. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you appreciate the episode, and see you there on the next one. Ciao.